Hello everybody out there. This is Farnell Newton, trumpeter, educator. I'm in my garage that I'm cleaning up. Yay! But I wanted to talk about trumpet hygiene. Sometimes it can be pretty scary to look inside your horn and see all the the, the friends and critters and, and nice yummy treats that are in there. But um, I just wanted everyone to see this real quick. Check this out. Okay, trumpet hygiene. You should always keep your trumpet clean. A minimum, at least once a month. Minimum. I mean, it should even be weekly, but a minimum of once a month. I'm not going to show you, well, I am going to show you what's happening with my horn. Okay, so, so this is what's happening on my tuna slide. Nasty build up. Farnell, I must take care of my trumpet better. Now look what's on this tuna slide. <gasps> mm. And then let's see what's on my valve. Hi, it's a little friend. Now my wonderful horn is clean and back together. Yay! Well, first of all, besides having a valve in, I would not put those in until I oil them up with uh, one of my favorite valve oils. Um, and it's actually from Portland. Well, not from Portland, but it's from Oregon. Um, a good friend of mine, Ken Saul, makes ultra pure oil. Let me uh, focus in on there. Ultra Pure, some good oil. I bought a bunch of these. They're not super expensive, and they are very, very well. Um, they are used by a lot of different companies, uh, like uh, Monet and Harrelson Trumpets and different other trumpet companies. So check them out. I think this was six ninety five when I first bought it. So um, make sure you oil your valves before putting them in. I mean, it's like a car. You don't you don't turn the car on and drive it without motor oil in there. Well, actually, some people do. That's why their engines are all messed up. But I'm going to protect my engine, so you should protect your engine. Ultra Pure. good and now it's clean so go clean your horn now